Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace this uh, walking character with the character that I imported from the Unity. So in the previous uh, tutorial, I imported this character from Unity. Uh, now uh, I have the character model and a skeleton. So what I have to do is uh, retarget this skeleton uh, to actually match these animations. So let's do that. So in uh, the mannequin is the character that is actually uh, in motion. Uh, 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 here I have the character mesh and uh, if I double click the character skeleton I will get this type of tool here I have the retarget manager button I just have to click it and uh, I don't worry about this uh, worry about this one here select the rig as humanoid and it will uh, automatically map uh, these things and like the uh, source with the target the, uh, source being the actual uh, rig uh, let's say a root and with the actual root of the uh, skeleton uh, like that it will map so <clears throat> keep in mind you have to modify the pose so uh, look at the the character has this type of uh, pose but in my character uh, the pose is a little bit different uh, here in the import fold I have you can see the pose is like uh, T pose so what you have to do is uh, go back to that mannequin uh, character and I have to adjust the pause. Uh, I'll go back to the retarget manager. Here yeah, I have the button called uh, first. I have to uh, uh, click V pause and click modify pause. Oh uh, no, just click V pause. Then uh, you will uh, you are able to uh, edit the pause of this character. Okay, I will match the T pause. Yeah, I have to actually fix the hand. Oops, I'm a little bit new to Unreal. Sorry about this. Okay, now I have the perfect T pause. Okay, let's see. Uh, now I modify the T pause from the current pause. So here, let's see. Uh, uh, in if we uh, click the uh, high t was it will go back to the previous state and if you click show then you will see the actual pause okay uh, it's simple so now you have actually uh, mapped uh, your mannequin and close it and save it <coughs> okay uh, then you have to use that mapping in your own character uh, you have to uh, go to the, your character and you have a skeleton here double click the skeleton and you will get the same window click to the click the retarget manager and you can select humanoid and you will get the same type window here you can see the skeleton is not mapped don't click auto map it will uh, mess up everything because uh, in advanced menu they have a lot of pawns and everything uh, go it will mess up everything so don't click auto map uh, don't uh, show advanced um, bones I uh, just have to map uh, by manually. Uh, let's map it manually. <coughs> so up arm is actually uh, for my character. I think up arm L. Uh, here I have shoulder, elbow, and hand. Up arm means shoulder L. Lower arm means uh, elbow L. Hand means hand. Uh, here again uh, I have upper arm R that means shoulder R lower arm R that means uh, elbow R hand R that's neck means neck and this tight means uh, I think upper leg L calf lower leg L and foot means somehow ankle <laughs> K R Valegar again. Valegar. Okay, now it's looking perfect. Let's see nothing. R R L. Make sure that you L uh, prefer L with L means left with left, not mess up things. Okay. Now it's perfect. And let's close this and save it again. Okay. 
mapping is finished now, now you have to uh, redact the animation to your uh, actual character here you have the animation blueprint uh, <clears throat> here I have this animation blueprint so I right click that and retarget the blueprint uh, duplicate the animation blueprint and redraft so here uh, I select the hacker female character and click retarget it will take some time and uh, it will give you the uh, new animation set and and the blueprint so if the animation little little bit offset you can uh, double click the animation and here uh, let's uh, play it or you can actually the animation playing so if, uh, we, if it is off uh, you can uh, in the under option you can uh, click show retargeting options and here you can actually try to retarget uh, try to uh, uh, set the different options here and see what actually are uh, best for you I think this one is much better okay for this one let's see it's fine uh, I want the running animation let's uh, again click show retargeting options and let's try to make changes and see what happens I think this one's better Okay, let's save it and okay <clears throat> now I have to replay this character with this character so I click this one and here I have the uh, top-down character and I edit that here in the character I have the character mesh uh, I just have to uh, select uh, my uh, character here and in the animation I have to uh, give the blueprint uh, I think the name is third person with this one Okay, now compile. Everything seems to work fine. Now we have switched the character. That's it. Thank you for watching.